So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily attach any object to your footage. We're going to do this inside After Effects by using a method called 3D Camera Tracking. And don't worry, 3D Camera Tracking is quite simple, thanks to After Effects. Anyone can do it, and so can you. So let's dive in. Okay, when you open After Effects, this is what you see. Uh, this is the user interface. Uh, don't worry, at first, it's going to feel a little bit intimidating, but it's uh, quite simple once you understand where everything is. Okay, we're going to start off with importing our footage. I'm going to right click over here, go to import file. Yeah, we have this shot over here, walk shot. I'm going to import it inside After Effects. Now it's imported, but nothing appeared here. Now there are two ways. Either you can create a composition from here, or you can drag this and drop it on top of this little icon that you see. This is going to create the composition for you. And now we have a composition and our footage on the timeline. So uh, we head over here and uh, go to our composition settings. You'll see that it has created the composition for us based on our clip's data. The clip was in Ultra HD, 25 frames per second, and it has created our composition according to the clip. Hit OK. And now we're going to head over here to our tracker. We're going to hit track camera. Uh, after it's going to do its magic in the background, it's going to analyze the footage, the camera movement and all. And uh, this depends on your computer speed, how fast is it. Now after our 3D camera tracking, you'll notice that these uh, render points appear and this uh, target mark appears as well. That has tracked our footage. You can see all of this area has been tracked. Perfect. Okay, once uh, you have you have tracked your camera, the next step you're going to do is head over here to the wall, right click, create text and camera. So what this is going to do is it's going to create a text and uh, a 3D tracker camera. And take a look. Um, let's create a solid over here on the ground. It has created a solid layer. We're going to pre-compose our solid. Double tap. Dive into our pre-composed solid composition. Now we're going to import the uh, skull. Drag it on top. Hide the uh, track solid. Scale it down a bit. Around here, okay. Take a look. It has perfectly tracked that onto the ground. And if you want to move it, you can move it. If you want to rot rotate this, you can rotate this. Let's head over to our text. Double click our text, and you can type anything you want here. Say uh, I maybe or three D camera tracking. Don't worry if it's too much, scale up with double click and scale it down a bit around here. Then uh, reposition this to where you want it to be. Rotate it a bit maybe, yeah. That feels right. And voila, there you go. And now we can even animate this. Let's say uh, I want to animate the scale of it. I'm going to go to my uh, text, hit S on my keyboard. The scale is going to pop up. If you, These are the uh, properties that require. These are the properties on which animation is based on. I'm going to, now in order to animate this, I'm going to start off with uh, the cursor at zero. Hit this clock. Let's get add a keyframe on my timeline. Not too much. Move it a bit forward. Mm, maybe around here. I'm gonna scale it up. And this is going to add another keyframe. A little bit forward. Scale it down again. That's gonna give it a bounce effect. Okay. 
select them all, right click, and easy ease. Start with the first one and make it zero. Take a look. And that's how you can easily animate the text or graphics or PNGs, whatever that you have attached to your footage. It's that simple. See? So this was it for today. I hope you've learned something new. And if you have, please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content coming in the future.